perfect. Cute as a bug. Now, along the headers, do I want to use the same color or do I want to use a different color? I'm feeling like I want to use a different color. Let's grab my mild liner. I can never read these. I think it's olive. I'm going to guess it's olive. It's olive. Of course it's olive. Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back. If this is your first time here, welcome. If it is not your first time here, you already know who I am. This is April with Plan With April and today I am in my A5 cut down composition notebook and we're gonna be planning the last week in May, first like weekend in June. If you miss this monthly setup, it's definitely on my channel. I'll try to remember to link it in the cards up above so that you can find it. If I forget, just know you can click on my channel and it is there. Before we get too far into this, please remember to hit the like button and definitely subscribe and follow. So last week I did just a running uh, Alistair method and then I was trying to figure out from the garden how much it was going to produce and how much I needed to can. <laughs> so yes, very interesting. I've been kind of hopping around in this planner over the last few weeks, just really customizing it and making it into something that I need it to be. Uh, it's been uh, functional for the most part. And I think I'm going to go back to this layout where I have my horizontal hourly. So Let's go ahead and do that. I've got three rows for each one all the way to the very end. So let's just pop in here and I'm gonna go dun, dun, dun. right there, come down three. How has everybody been? It has been amazing here garden's doing well and things are growing like crazy including the weeds I was gonna say things are growing like weeds but there really are weeds out there so yeah that's a thing I guess every gardener would say that I think we're gonna come up with a different uh, tactic next year after Wes gets it tilled up I don't know what that's gonna be but hopefully it'll shorten the amount of weeds less than the amount of weeds Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then finally, Sunday, Sunday. All right, that was really, really pitchy. I apologize. So let's pop in over here. I'm just gonna do the same thing. Take it all the way to the end. Did I tell you guys about, uh, we were trying to find a show to watch and we started watching Evil on Netflix, and it was like, ew, no. Yeah, just kind of creepy. And it was at nighttime, and Wes is like, yeah, I can't do this. I'm like, yeah, I'm probably going to have nightmares if we continue watching the show. So we switched over to The Good Place, and I don't know if you guys have seen that. It is. It's pretty funny. It's got so many seasons though. Like seriously, at first I was like, come on, is this really, are we really doing this many seasons? Is it this popular of a show? And then we started watching it. I'm like, okay, well maybe I can see that, you know, that's how, that's how that is. Sure, sure, sure. I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a skinny one here. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That just did not look to me like it was enough. Like I was feeling like maybe that wasn't enough. Now, did I leave myself enough or too much to do? Actually, no, I did pretty darn good. So let me just make little tick marks here at one inch. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's draw these one inches in here. Again, we are not going for perfection in this notebook. It is a composition notebook. It costs a whopping dollar. This is more of a functional planner for me. It keeps me kind of organized and gets my life in order. I have a Hobonichi cousin that I decorate and use as a more of a decorative planner, but this one is definitely definitely 
my go-to like organization. So I'm going to go over here. So I've got four to six, six to eight, eight to 10, 10 to 12, 12 to two, two to four, and then two to four, four to six, six to eight, eight to 10. Two, four, six, eight, who do we appreciate? I know, I know. You did not come here for the singing, it is just bonus. Like you get it, it's, it's free, it's free. It's free, free falling. Okay, that may not have been free. I may have probably charged for that one because it was pretty bad. Okay, that takes care of all the lines. Now, I am going to put in here because it's gonna be Monday, where's June, where's June? Um, oh, it was May, what am I thinking? Go back to May, it's gonna be May. So the 27th is gonna be Monday. So let's go ahead and go in here and do 27, 28, these are my long and skinny letters, 29, numbers, not letters, 30, 31, and then we've got 01, and 02 cute if I do say so myself and then let's go over here I'm going to put in Monday Tuesday Wednesday I am using the pen and gear pen it has quickly become my favorite Friday and then Saturday, Saturday, Sunday. Perfect, so that takes care of uh, that. I didn't pick anything decorative to go in this one, shame on me, but I do have this girl that I had cut out from a different one. Let's use her, I think she's adorable. And these stickers I got off of or this roll I got off of AliExpress. I will also try to remember to tag these down below. These wouldn't be any kind of an affiliate link just because AliExpress, the, I don't know. I don't have an affiliate link with them. I just have one with like Amazon. Amazon. All right, so let's put her and I'm wondering because I already like colored that in if she is going to cover that up or do we need to put a piece of washi tape down here? I'm feeling like we do. And I'm looking at my washi tape and I'm like, what do I want to do in this bottom portion? We could even do it at the top too. It would just need to be a skinny out piece. So, so let me see what I've got. I really think this is going to be cute with it. So let's do this one. And I'm just going to do this page. I'm not going to do both sides of the page. I'm just going to do this page. I'm going to pop it down there. I'm going to grab my palette knife, pop that all the way over to the end. Perfect. I don't, I really think I want to use this one too in there just to add a little bit of texture for her because I'm kind of liking how that looks. Okay, and then let's put her on the page. Separate that sticker. It took me a long time to figure out how to separate those out successfully. All right, let's pop her down right there. She is adorable. Perfect, and then at the top, I don't know. 
I'm not really feeling the top right now. I'll be really honest with you. I'm not feeling like we need to add anything up there other than let's grab the Crayola. I'm not sure what color this is because Crayola doesn't have colors listed on just their basic markers. But let's go up here and I'm gonna write in big letters May 27 through second. Perfect. Cute as a bug. Now, along the headers, do I want to use the same color or do I want to use a different color? I'm feeling like I want to use a different color. Let's grab my mild liner. I can never read these. I think it's olive. I'm going to guess it's olive. It's olive. Of course it's olive. So I'm going to use this one. I'm going to put that one back where it goes. I'm going to use the chisel tip. Your, your mild liners have dual tips. So you have a pointy tip and then you have a chisel tip. I'm going to use the chisel tip and I'm going to go across the top here. And I am just going to highlight across the top. Perfect. Whoops. Put that one away and then I'm going to do, oh, I really want to do a couple of things. So let me let that just do its thing for a minute. I'm going to go in with my Muji. This is a 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And I am just going to doodle around these letters. I just want them to stand out a tiny bit more. I am not tracing perfection. As you can see, I'm not even lining up with the actual letter or the actual number. I'm just kind of doing a really rough outline. I just want to add a little bit of texture to this part, just kind of set it off a little bit. I felt like it was almost floating off of the page. So this is just to get it a little, a little more grounded, just a little bit more grounded. And by doing that, it really changes the feel of it. So it makes it really stand out. I think I'm going to do something similar with these boxes. I'm going to go up above and I'm going to double scribble outline them. It's these little touches that you add to your planner that really do make a visual impact as you're planning. And I'm a very visual planner. Like I like to see pretty things. I definitely open my planner more often if it's interesting to me. So in this case, going in here, adding this double scribble line, it looks messy. It looks interesting. It just adds a little bit of something to the day, to the week. And again, kind of makes this marker a little more grounded. So there is uh, that on that. And because this is going to be a horizontal hourly, it's a little something different. If you haven't been here before, I've done this layout quite a few different times. But if this is your first time, it probably will be a little, a little different for you. And that's totally fine. I'm going to start here with a two hour block of 4 a.m. to 6 a.m six to eight, eight to 10, 10 to 12, 12 to two, I almost said 12 to 14, I was gonna do military, two to four, four to six, six to eight, eight to 10. And then over here, I'm just gonna do notes. So any other notes that I have for the week. Now, we all know my work schedule, so I'm going to put that in really quick. That's something that is, is a thing. So 8.30, I'm going to put this in. I'm going to put work. This is an everyday Monday through Friday thing.
And then I'm just going to draw this over here to meet up with that line. It's fine if it goes over a little bit. And then 4.30 is my stopping time. So I'm just going to go in here. Keep flipping my book around, I'm sorry. And I'm just going to go here, all the way over. Here, all the way over. One of the reasons I like this hourly horizontal layout is even if my week isn't very busy, it does look filled in. Um, so if you have a week where it's not very busy or you have a, you know, you don't have a lot of things to put down on paper, try this layout. It, it is super, super nice. It's like I said, one of my favorites to do. I don't have anything else yet to put in here. So I'm going to leave it blank. I don't know which days I'm going to be watering the garden next week. I'm not sure what we're doing on the weekend since it's this, the first, I do believe we have all heroes night this night, but I'm going to have to check the time. So I'm going to leave that blank just so I don't do anything with it. So I hope you like this plan with me. I hope you like this layout. If you haven't seen it before, let me know what you think. If you've tried this one before, let me know what you think down below. And I will talk to you in the comments. I love you. I hope you have the best day. <laughs> Bye.